Welcome to Deep Thought. Your path is your path. Your path is your path. And ultimately, going through life, we all have a path. We all have a journey. And uh, certain spiritual traditions, uh, particularly in Africa, they'll call it uh, an incarnation objective. You know? Um, you know, we can call it a destiny or something. But regardless of what, how you want to characterize it, it's a path, and it's only your path. And it's very important that you discover your path. Now, this past uh, Sunday, I talked about bringing forth your gifts. Your gifts are what you need to walk along your path, to go along in your journey. You know, that's part of the reason you have the gift. In fact, it informs you about what your journey should be to begin with. But remember, it's your path ultimately. But see, we have an interesting situation. We have an interesting situation. You have so many forces, and we'll call them the theys. <laughs> we'll call them the theys, right? They, they will tell you what your path should be, what you should do. And the days don't really, it don't really start with at the top, to believe, believe it or not. You know, the first person, the first people going to tell you what your path is or try to push you in a certain direction are your parents. Your parents, then your teachers, everybody else. And that's just the nature of it. And, you know, on a deeper level, that's why so many people are able to be controlled because the people who love you the most feed you and everything they try to get you along something and try to even shame you to stay on their path, what they see you should do. And that's normal. That's normal. Now, it's understandable when they suggest stuff, but at the end of the day, your path is your path. And I know this from personal thing. You know, I've said this a million times. I keep saying it. I'm on this. I'm trying to grow too. And, I, you know, I got teenage sons. And, of course, I see some stuff they will be good at. But, you know. The thing is, when I do that, and I might make throw out some suggestions, but at the same time, I don't force it, right? Because then I catch myself and I say, okay, you got to find what you want to do. And one thing I do with them is always ask them, what do you want to do? And then I, I'm, I'm very encouraging when they do say that, even though I definitely see some other stuff, but, you know, that's apparent. But that's, that's a balance a parent has to have, though. Just real quick, uh, that's a balance a parent has to have. Oh, and for people who may be new to the channel, I regularly go on tangents. This is a stream of consciousness channel. Um, but, you know, that's one of the things you got to balance out what you might want your child to do and what they're supposed to do. But at the end of the day, you know, I just do what I can to nurture them and help them have the basics and, you know, show them the love. But their path is their path. And when they decide what it is, I follow along with it. All right. But that's hard for a lot of people. That's me. And I'm coming from a certain place, a certain consciousness to allow them to walk on their path. But a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't. Because even when you get out, everybody else is trying to tell you. They say, well, you should do this. You know, you might like how many people have said, well, they want to get into a certain profession or something. And some people, mostly from a place of love, will say, no, you can't make money doing that. But that could still be your path. See, one thing about your path, it can't really be about money. Oh, it's great if it can. Let's just be real. If you can make some money from your path. See, I make money from my path. But let's put it like this. To get on the path I'm on fully now, I went through a lot. Now, I said about my education level. reason why I don't talk about uh, talk about because I don't do that type of stuff. So, you know, it's like it's there, but it's like that wasn't really my path, which is why I'm not doing it. You know, I did a lot of stuff. Education, 
It's ironic. Everything I learned in both schools, undergraduate and graduate level, has nothing to do with what I do now. <laughs> but it wasn't my path. And, you know, I've had some successes doing what I learned in school. I did have some successes, but it wasn't something that really hit me on a deeper level. And it's ironic, I look back now, and if I had an idea, shoot, I'd probably be a millionaire now. Now my millionaire path is, well, later than it should have been, <laughs> about 30 years later, if I had known what it was to begin with, right? But it was still mine, because part of the reason I got off of that, my regular path is I was listening to other people. I say, hey, you know, you're smart. You should be doing this. You should be doing this. Go work here and all of this. But that wasn't, you know. And, you know, even though they, um, I had to find out the hard way, no, nah, that's not it. But see, a lot of people don't. That's why you can get some people making a lot of money, but it's not their path. And they're still not happy. You know, you got a lot of drug use among professionals. A lot of psychological problems among professionals is ain't what they do. But then you get the few who might leave like maybe a job paying 150000 a year and do something where they're only getting thirty, but then they're happy. You know, it might be dealing with kids. It might be, you know, working in a community or something like that, but that's their path. You know? It's their path. They're happy. And I've seen there's been plenty of people who've done that. They've been in great positions, but, you know, they found their path. And see, the beauty, see, the thing is, it has to be your path. Like, everybody needs to sit back and ask themselves, what do you really want to do? You know, and it, you, you got to be able to look in the mirror and say, you know what, I'm comfortable with this. You got to look at it because... You really can't live life to please other people because let's, let's just be real. Let's just be real. When you used to get to that point, you feel like you got to please everybody else. A lot of people want you to fail. <laughs> a lot of people want you to be miserable. You know, and you pleasing them, it's making, it might be making them happy, but really they ain't happy either because then they not on their path, <laughs> you know, and they might want you to just suffer right along with them. All of these things are very key. All these things are very key. And you got to realize, you got to find what is your mission? What is your path? You know, some um, dating coaches will say, what is your purpose? Hey, that's important on that level. Not for dating, but just knowing what you want to do. You know, it's not to impress women or impress men or whatever. It's because that's what you feel like you should be doing. And it's you, it's unique to you, you know? Now, you know, I don't promote a specific spiritual path on here, but whatever you want to call the supreme being created you for that. Whatever your God is, you know, your deity, him or her, or it. That's your, you got that mission from that deity. That supreme being. Shoot, even if you atheists, you ain't here just to float along. You got to have something you want to do. But it's your path. That's a very important piece. Your path is your path. So I want y'all to keep that in mind. So think on what I'm saying. Peace and blessings.